My name is Sofia Stefanovic. I'm professor of physical anthropology at the Department of Archaeology in the Belgrade University. I'm analyzing ancient human bones in order to reconstruct how ancient people look like and lived. My name is Yugoslav Pendic. I'm an archaeologist. Uh, I work at the Biosense Institute in Novi Sad. I specialize in use of 3D scanning and 3D technologies. I am Oskar Nelson. I'm a forensic artist and an archaeologist from Sweden. I uh, reconstruct faces for museums. My name is Adam Koch. I'm a solutions team member at Real Arrow, part of Epic Games. I spend my days empowering creators and researchers to make amazing things with digital humans. During the 60s, in the region of the Danube Gorges in northeastern Serbia, the great and unique European prehistoric culture was discovered. The name of the culture was Lepenski Vir. The settlement was uh, established 10,000 years ago. Around 500 human skeletal remains were discovered. Among these 500 individuals, one really was unique and very specific. That was the man who was buried in the sitting position with the crossed leg, so in so-called lotus position. And at the, already during the excavations, our colleagues uh, told that maybe he was the shaman, so the, the person who probably had some very specific role for the community. We were developing MetaHuman Creator for a while. High fidelity digital human creation technology that took the task down from a few weeks and months to days. And when Sophia's team of researchers approached us with the shaman, our team was really excited to try this. I don't think anyone has tried to bring a 10,000 year old face back to life with technology. When we go to museums, we often see skeletons and sometimes if we're lucky, we see 3D reconstructions, but I would say we never see, have seen before a face reconstructed, a digital version that you actually can control. This is totally new. Our starting point was the physical remain uh, of, the, of the shaman from the grave 69. And the first step that we had to do was to scan it in great detail, in great, great accuracy, of course. And then from that 3D scan, we proceed on doing a 3D print of it. Once I have the skull, I start reconstructing the face layer by layer. I use the contours and the surface of the skull to make scientific assumptions about the shape and the size of the muscles. Uh, and gradually the face starts to emerge. For the reconstruction, we also provided to Oscar other data from the human bones to reconstruct what was age uh, uh, at the death. It was necessary to conduct ancient DNA analyses, which were also used by Oscar to support the reconstruction and to have uh, the, the precise data about the color of the hair or the color of the eye. Once I get to a certain point, I get a face that we could call the original sculpture. I normally would use uh, some license to create the hair, the skin tones and expression. But I bring this to Adam's team to do this digitally. Our team started with a scan of the original reconstruction from Oscar and estimated the facial expressions of the shaman. We can then move into a collaborative session inside MetaHuman Creator with Sophia and Oscar and narrow down his appearance. So what we asked ourselves is, at his age, what's the amount of wrinkles he might have? And based on the DNA analysis, we could estimate his skin tone, eye color and hair color. We could even edit his teeth based on the skull remains that we found. All that back and forth was really brilliant because uh, uh, normally I would do this work myself by hand and that is very expensive and takes a lot of time but to be able to do this digitally 
uh, it's really a game changer. Once we settled with uh, the option we chose, I could go back to my original sculpture and uh, finish the facial reconstruction. As a metahuman, he fit in seamlessly inside Unreal Engine. Our team created a realistic lighting for him and also found a way for him to interact with the audience in real time using a phone. It, it was pure joy to see him smile. Um, and this is exactly why I love my job. Who was the first man who domesticated uh, dogs? I would ask, are you okay with the, the hairstyle I gave you? I would ask him how his mornings were looking like. I believe that the day is determined by how your morning starts, so this is my connection with him. What else uh, to ask him? I'm curious to know how they play the music, how they catch these huge fishes. I really want to know was he really a shaman, so if he could maybe teach us his language and then we can have some sort of conversation. Another, another one, how they store the, their food. Food recipes. Food recipes. Food recipes. <laughs> What's really interesting is where can we take this? With MetaHuman Creator, it's obviously perfect for games and entertainment industry, but we just found him a place inside archaeology and forensics. We see teams exploring uses with medicine, automotive, and even psychology research. So it's really up to the users where this goes next.